Okay, this is part two. Uh, I have no idea what this thing is called. I'm thinking the book will be called uh, Kedar Othman, Kedar Othman, Othman versus Ramit Rams versus versus Ramit. Yeah, which I'll publish as a Ram as a Ramit Ramsey book. Okay, when I read his words, I'll be using this side face. When I use mine, that side. Okay. Quote, the safe for the state. Nice twisting and taking out of context. If I've done as you accuse, taking out of context, put it in context and don't twist it. This verse means that when someone gets killed, kill his killer, not the whole family or another man. How do you get that with the slave for the slave? It goes as, it goes as follows. This is the Quran. It says, Oh, you who have attained to faith, just just, retri just retri retribution is ordained for you in cases of killing. The free for the free, the slave for the slave, and the woman for the woman. That's Bakara 178. What does the slave for the slave mean to you? How does this mean that if someone kills your slave, you don't kill their slave? How? How am I twisting, unquote? How am I, quote, twisting, twisting, unquote? Or, quote, taken out of context, unquote. Here. How am I doing it here? By the way, if I have it right, well, where are the rights of the slave, the free man and the woman? Why should they die if they're innocent for you killing their slave? Oh, free man, or, or free man, or, or, or a free woman, or a woman. Um, think, I'll save the best deceivers, think. Does that mean that if a slave is killed, another slave, irrespective of the murderer, is to be killed? You're going to say it doesn't? Please, if it doesn't mean what it means to me, I, I want, is, is, please say that, huh? I want, I want to have some fun here. What if a woman is killed? Then another woman has to be has to be killed in compensation. But you will say it doesn't mean that, right? This is not applied in any Islamic country, even though it's the Quran that uh, is saying it. So we're saying Islamic countries don't follow this insanity from the Quran? Well, if not, then then that is hopeful. It proves that Muslims really don't believe this crap. I, I hope you're right. It proves Muslims in, quote, Islamic countries, unquote, as you say, don't really take that, the, take the stupid, evil Quran seriously. I find that very hopeful if you aren't taking line for Allah. So I am sure that I am misreading it. Kind of explain. What? Uh, what is there to explain? It, it sounds like the quote, clear signs, Quran is very clear signs here and allows you to kill someone's slave if he killed your slave. And if that is the case, well, where are the rights of the slave that you kill? Where are the rights? It means we shouldn't hate America for the time the U.S. had slavery, if you ask me. Like just what doing. Oh, so since Jews might have mistreated slaves, bad means it's okay to kill someone's slave if he or she has killed your slave. How does Jews being evil make it so Muslims should be evil? I thought Muslims were supposed to be better than anyone else. What would happen? You mean if, if, if I do something stupid or evil, that means a Muslim can do something super evil too? Uh, aren't Muslims to be better than me, an infidel? Think, O oh, slave the best deceivers. Think. For more information, answering Christianity, uh, that, uh, laws, or matter, etc. So again, since Jews might have treated slaves bad, means it's okay to kill someone's slave if he or she has killed your slave. How does Jews being evil make it so Muslims should be killed? Uh, so Muslims should be evil. I thought Muslims were supposed to be better than anyone else. What, what would happen? You mean, if I, if I do something stupid or evil, that means a Muslim can do something stupid or evil? I can't. Aren't Muslims supposed to be better? Think, I'll say, best receivers, think. If anyone slow a person, unless it be for murder, or for spreading mischief in the land, it would be as if he slowed the whole people. That comes from the Talmud. You do realize, though, that you do realize that, don't you? 
And when Mo plagiarizes it by putting it in the Quran, it's a command to the Jews and not the Muslims for read on about what what happened. Well, read on about what is to happen to those who spread mischief, mischief, mischief in the land, which means basically uh, bringing Bibles into the land or preaching something that's other than Islam, or saying that Allah is more than one or something like that. Uh, check it out, please. And if anyone saved a life, it would be as if he saved the life of the whole people. That's 532, correct. So, if you kill someone, everyone dies on the planet. And if you want to bring them all all to life again, become a doctor and save someone from an appendicitis? This is even stupid when it comes from the Talmud, if you ask me. Verse 424 of Quran. Verse 424. They are their money that time. And better than prison and killing. If they captivate if they captivate them without their husbands, they can wait for one period and get into them. I guess have sex with them. And you have no problem with this? Where is the consent of her non-Muslim captured husband to make to, 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 to not make it rape, but good old adultery? Where? Again, you have no problem with this. So they will be divorced that way. Again, you have no problem with this? Where is the consent of her non-Muslim captured husband to make it to, 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 to not make it rape and and adult and just make it adultery. Where? Again, you have no problem with this. Really? But if they captivate both together, they can't do it. Oh? Well, both together, huh? Then check this out from Muslim eight thirty four or thirty two. And especially soon in Abu Dhabi that's soon in Abu or Abi Dawud two twenty and fifty, please. Where the rape, I mean quote, intercourse can take place in the presence of her husbands who are unbelievers. I, I kid you not. It says in the presence of their husbands who are unbelievers. And you have no problem with such evil allowed from Allah the exalted? How come you don't? I think you know that but twisted or misleaded like David would. Where did he once twist and mislead here? Again, check out Muslim 834 32, and especially soon Abu Dawud 22050, or soon Abu Dawud 22050. Please, where the rape, I mean, quote, intercourse, can take place in the presence of their husbands who are unbelievers. I, yeah, really. This is not your life. Right. It's my hobby to expose the evil and stupidity of, the, of Islam on the internet. It's my hobby. Their life was like that. And they played. Uh, and they plagued it with, plagued it as a part of culture and financial system that can't be dealt with at once. Who are you talking about? What's this? They? What, what's this? What? What's this have to do with the Quran saying the slave for the slave? That is, someone kills your slave, you can kill their slave. But step by step, what? Funny, really, because. You don't, you don't, why don't you come and teach me the history and archaeology of my country? What country would that be? One of the stands? And come to see footprint of the prophet by yourself in the museum. I'd like to be, I'd be far more impressed if I saw the psych psychedelic peacock tailed thing. He says he flew on that that Sahih sound Bukhari says was just a vision. And said the hole in the rock either. Well, I've seen the inside of the dome of the rock, and guess what? None of the holes looked like footprints, and none had a sign saying, This is the footprint that contradicts the Quran about the Mo not given signs, miracles. You expose, you'll expose your lies to a person who is living there. I'm not talking about footprints of the sadistic desert pedophile pirate you are talking about. I'm talking about a hoof print. None is seen, nor a sign pointing to it. If it were there, I kid you not. But where have I lied? Name it. And we will see if you aren't a Kia in line for Allah, okay? And still, the more funny is that you doesn't know what is Al-Aqsa Mosque. If I don't 
and tell us what it is, okay? Well, I, where I can start with ignorant? Let's start from zero. What is Al-Aqsa Mosque? It's not the Dome of the Rock with the Golden Dome, but is dark in color and supposedly where Mo chained the Elba Rock to. That's the flying donkey-like thing with the head of human tail of a peacock. But are you going to say that that is false? Firstly, I don't see what that has to do with Mo flying on the donkey thing with the head of a human when Bakari says it was just a vision. He doesn't say just a vision, he says it was a vision. In Quran, the night journey is done in Surah al-Isra. Quran 17.1. And Surah al nahjam telling that he was up there. So, unless uh, all, all we care, that is... It's true in the Quran. Hadith is not a holy book. Unless it's telling you about how many times to have your patootie in the air on a prayer rug. And talking about the Jew hiding behind a rock before the rock tells the Muslim to come and kill the Jew. Then it becomes valuable as the clear signs. The Quran, true? And they think contradicts with Quran is false, even if it's Bukhari. If so, then how can you be a Sunni Muslim who has... who? is to believe the Hadith, especially if it's Sahih. How can you still be a Sunni, mu Sunni Muslim if you can't even trust Bukhari? Bukhari is not our God, or what some call a Holy Spirit. Well, again, then how can you be a Sunni Muslim who is to believe the Hadith, especially if it's Sahih? How can you still be a Sunni Muslim if you can't even trust Bukhari Hadith, which is Sahih? How? Oh.